You may or may not know this, but everything from our huge range online is shipped right from our warehouse here in Sydney. Everything you see online is in stock and ready to go, which means less waiting. We know how important it is to get your bedding fast, and that's why all my linen orders are shipped next business day for free. If you would like to get in contact with us, we have a few ways you can do so. In business hours, you can find our live chat in the bottom right hand corner with one of us ready to chat with you. Otherwise, in the top left hand corner, you can click on the three lines and scroll down to contact us. This will take you to our contact us page where you can find our phone number and email address and even send an email right there. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions. You may or may not know this, but everything from our huge range online is shipped right from our warehouse here in Sydney. Everything you see online is in stock and ready to go, which means less waiting. We know how important it is to get your bedding fast, and that's why all my linen orders are shipped next business day for free. If you would like to get in contact with us, we have a few ways you can do so. In business hours, you can find our live chat in the bottom right hand corner with one of us ready to chat with you. Otherwise, in the top left hand corner, you can click on the three lines and scroll down to contact us. This will take you to our contact us page where you can find our phone number and email address and even send an email right there. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions. You may or may not know this, but everything from our huge range online is shipped right from our warehouse here in Sydney. Everything you see online is in stock and ready to go, which means less waiting. We know how important it is to get your bedding fast, and that's why all my linen orders are shipped next business day for free. If you would like to get in contact with us, we have a few ways you can do so. In business hours, you can find our live chat in the bottom right hand corner with one of us ready to chat with you. Otherwise, in the top left hand corner, you can click on the three lines and scroll down to contact us. This will take you to our contact us page where you can find our phone number and email address and even send an email right there. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions. Hi everyone, welcome to our show. It's great to have you with us tonight. Um, I'm Ben and we've got a really good show tonight. We've got a couple of new arrivals that we're going to have a look at and we've it's our giveaway night. So we're going to give away a mattress topper. And we've done that once before, but we're going to do it again. Yep. And um, yeah, I'd better just mention the guys behind the camera. We've got Josh and Mary and Michelle, the same, same crew as always. And uh, they're going to be doing all the stuff and Josh is going to re be replying to your comments he already has yep. um, I think I saw Jen McDonald there so welcome Jen yep. great to have you with us tonight and actually everybody else jump in and let us know that you're watching yep. say hello and um, yeah get amongst it all comment yep. let us know and anyway tonight's show we like I said we're going to do oh, hi Joanne, uh, hey, Joanne. Like, like I said we're going to do new arrivals two new arrivals and we're going to uh, style them up two ways and we'll do a giveaway as well. But the giveaway, the topper, to get it, the entry into that draw, what we need you to do is let us know in the um, comments if you've actually used a topper before. So 
have you used one before? Yes or no? And if you have, we'll put your name down in the drawer to win one. You get to choose your size and all that. But I'll explain those a little bit more in a moment. We'll do a bit of a brief um, run over those. And um, But at the moment, let's jump onto the bed and we'll have a look at the first quilt cover. Yes, and while you're just hopping over there, a couple of weeks ago, it might have, might have even been last week, I think we... Um, encouraged everyone and said hey um, <clears throat> if you really wanted to help us out a little bit um, you can jump on our socials and start liking and following and commenting on some more of our other posts and I just want to say thank you everyone because it's I can see all your comments I can see all your likes it's been um, really cool to see all that happening and um, it is helping us out so thank you that's really good appreciate yep. it yeah yep. thanks a lot everybody yeah that's good continue <laughs> keep, <laughs> keep, keep doing it it's yep. good Obviously, not under compulsion, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've got some entries just before you hop on and talk about this lovely blue cool cover. Um, we've got Kerry. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. We've got Kerry. Uh, congratulations on your entry. She said that, yes, she uses one. She loves her topper. Um, Joanne says, yes, she loves them. They are amazing. So, Joanne, congratulations on your entry as well. Let me just write down your entry. Yep, got that. All right. Um, and then Jen McDonald says, yes, I love mine from you. Been trying to convince my daughter to get one. So there you go, Jen, if you win if tonight. If you win tonight, yeah. Yep, <laughs> that would be cool. And I think that's it so far. So let's get on to the cool cover, I reckon. All right. Well, this is the first one, and yep. it's called Laka. I think that's the way you pronounce it, Laka Denim. Yep. Um, it's very blue, um, but it's... Um, yeah, it's quite nice. It's a, whoops. <laughs> yeah. Trying to get it the, get the cameras right. Um, so this is a cotton polyester. It's one of those cotton rich um, materials where it's 60% cotton and 40% uh, um, polyester. So it's printed, but it's got a, it's sort of a jungle sort of theme, so palms and different things. It's this, it's white palm leaves. It, on the front with a blue base, but then on the back it's the same blue base, but then all the, all the white's gone. It's just another different shades of blue on the right. on the reverse. Um, so the actual quilt cover itself is exactly like this, and it reverses um, quite well. It's a we're going to do one of the designs um, on the reverse side. So this also it's it's sort of the pattern is a sort of a line line art. It's really sort of just drawn on, pretty. Um, pretty scarce just a just a line drawing basically in blues but on the base you i don't know if you can see it but there's it's it's a printed material it's printed but it's got sort of an appearance of um denim like actually it, zoom in a little they've bit. tried to imitate sort of a denim yeah. sort of a appearance not it doesn't feel like it's all smooth because it's printed but yeah, yeah they've tried to capture a denim look um yeah, sometimes you can see it. It's a bit stripy, actually, uh, in those patterns. But yeah, anyway, that's what they've tried to do. It's I, maybe I didn't finish talking about this properly. It's got a flange on it as well um, to finish it off. Yeah, right, right there. And it comes in queen, king, and super king. And there's euros as well. So we'll put the euros in first. Now, oh, actually, the euros are the same both sides. The, it's the reverse, the reverse um, color, so the bl more bluer color on the on the euros, but it's the same both sides, the same um, same blue, no white. All right, and this this one here is. We haven't seen this one before. This one is called the Clean um, Blue Cushion. It's it's like a really short wool feeling. It's um yeah, it's quite nice and soft. Um, pretty good color. Um, just a small square. It's it's a polyester fill. This one. Put so that, and then we've got the linen. This is linen silver. And it's uh, this is feather filled, and 
This is in the linen range. We've got a few different colours of this. It's feather filled and it's got that uh, little, well, I'm really all over the place, little frill around the edge of, of it all the way around. So yeah. nice solid, solid cushion. So we've just got a couple um, of comments. We had quite a few people mention that they really like the light blue colour. Um, and we had Kerry say that she's really liking the reverse design. Um, so yep. we'll get to that in a second. Yeah, we will. We'll flip, the, flip it over. So. Um, the next thing uh, that someone said was Jen said pillow fight. Because <laughs> uh, uh, Michelle is throwing in the pillows. So, yeah. Yep. yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm sure she tries to um, <laughs> cause damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we had Kerry ask, sorry, Kerry asked if that blue cushion is like a teddy bear fabric. That's that's a pretty good way to describe it. Yeah, yeah, it possibly is. Yeah, yeah. And what was what was that one called again? Clean K E L, no K L E I N. Clean K or Klein, yeah. maybe. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's in the description it's, anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the all the all the um, stuff that we're talking about tonight, the quilt covers and all the accessories are in in the link in the description. So you get to you know, have a look at them all there. <laughs> this is the um, Alanya Silver Throw. It's a, yep. it's a pretty sturdy um, sort of waffle. We've we've got this in a, another color as well, like a purple lilac uh, lilacy color as well. Yeah. So um, it's just a nice. This is a lounge throw, like snuggle up, sort of. Well, maybe not now. It's getting warmer, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that's the that's the first look. I suppose the silver look, you could say. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let us know what you think, and um, yeah, we'll pull it apart and do the other side. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. The silver sort of goes with. It. We had a lot of trouble trying to get this um, styled up this week. Yeah, yeah. It really was a challenge. I think we were trying to be really clever, and it and it. Um, trying to be different but and we've had a lot of trouble yeah. got all lost and um just before you move over to the next one did you want to explain real quick how people can enter the giveaway just uh, i've seen a couple more people joining yeah i suppose we should yeah if you've just joined us we're we're giving away a mattress topper tonight so um jump into the comments and let us know if you've ever used one if you've used one or not just let us know and we'll put your name down for um to go into the draw and we'll we'll draw that at the end of the show yeah. so yeah just let us know that no yeah if you've if you've used a topper before i'm going to explain them again in a, a, a little bit uh in a minute so we'll explain what they are or yeah and our particular one the one we've got so sounds good all right so that's the reverse the reverse side of the laka but we're going to leave the 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 um, standards out with the showing of the white. Just flip the quilt cover only. Um, I think that's what we were going to do. And then <laughs> we've got the Ascot white. Um, we've seen these. Um, we we show the Ascot white a little bit. They've got the nice flange and nice solid waffle. Really nice nice products. These ones and. We've got the, the square one and the white, uh, the square and the long, sorry. And yep. with these also come in quilt covers and euros. You can, so you could even put the white Ascot euros in um, oh, yeah. the back of this. So yep. that could work. So now we've got the Johnson Johnson denim throw. Nice. That's another solid throw. Wool. Oh, uh, it's not wool, actually. I think it's... Um, I think it's a polyester, but um, knitted, knitted yep. throw. Turn these over. We'll have a look. Michelle's giving us some advice here. <laughs> she thinks um, it might look better with the all blue. Yeah. Anyway, a bit simpler with the white colours, <laughs> just sticking, I suppose, with the blue, but a um, bit of a challenge to... To style this one up because you've only got sort of blues to work with so it made it a bit difficult yeah um, but anyway that's the Larka let yeah. us know if you like it 
Um, yes, Jen, this is a nice throw. I can see that that comment. It's, it is this Johnson range is really nice. Um, there's another lounge throws really. You can snuggle on the lounge with those as well. Yeah, uh, we had Joanne also say that uh, she really likes this dark blue throw. Um, yep. So that's two votes for that throw. That's yeah, yeah, good yeah. One. <laughs> Um, and then Kerry said that she really likes this darker side of the core cover. So yep. yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. All right, well, let's um, let's talk about the topper because yep. back over at the table, and because we're going to we're going to be giving this one away. Um, you get to choose your size. I might not. Uh, do I need to take it out? I don't think so. Probably probably not. It's. You, you get to choose your size. We're giving giving one away. You get to choose a single, long, single. That's the, the, the for the adjustable beds. Well, they yep. could be adjustable beds. The king single, double, queen, king, and even super king as well. So uh, all the sizes pretty much. And um, yeah, it's a great addition to your bed. If if Why would you use a topper? Well, you might use it if you've not even heard of them before. Um, but I think a lot of our listeners watchers are probably understand what the toppers are yeah. but they're really good for for on a old mattress if you were it just puts a bit of a padding across the top of your your mattress and it helps you to um like rejuvenate an old mattress it can just bring a bit yeah. of life into it for a, for a bit, bit more so that you get a bit more life out of it or if you've got a new mattress and it's a little bit uncomfortable or something you can um put a topper on and it can sort of help you uh, you might even use it only for a period of time until the mattress runs in <laughs> or and you, or until you get used to the new mattress even so there's many different uses you can use it for but it's just a top up a top on the mattress it's got a fitted skirt on it so it, it's like a fitted sheet yeah. and it fits around the the mattress but this will stretch to about 50 centimeters so you'll yeah. get a 40 centimeter mattress or uh, you might even get a 45 centimeter mattress with a five centimeter centimeter under tuck but that's probably we usually recommend 10 10 centimeters tuck but if that's what you've got it'll probably work still this is also it's microfiber fill it's got a five centimeter gusset so the the padding on top is about five centimeters and it's a thousand gsm wadding so it's a thousand grams per square meter and it's got a cotton japara cover the, the cover's cotton cotton japara so it stops the fibers seeping out that nice um cotton japara so really yeah. good quality and you get to um, choose your size if you win and to enter in the draw for this you need to um just let us know if you've used one before um either yeah. yes or no or yay or nay or <laughs> Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. And we'll put um, you in the draw. We do have Jody who's entered. She said, so congratulations, Jody. She said, no, I have never used a topper. Maybe when I get a new mattress, then I'll get one. Um, which, yep, yeah, we do yeah. have. You also may not, you may not necessarily need it on a new mattress, but um, if you do, if they, they can yeah. be beneficial. Yeah. So what we do find is um, sometimes people. <laughs> They find that after sleeping on a mattress for 20 years, they actually like a little bit more of the sinking in, like the older mattress feel, yeah. where it's more um, like, so say you bought a firmer mattress originally, and then it's lost its firmness over time, and you like the softer feel. You go back to the mattress store, and you say, well, I, I bought a firmer mattress, so that's what I like, and then it gets home, and then it's not as soft. It's not as soft, yeah. yeah. So we find sometimes people like that, they go and grab one of our toppers because instead of going and buying another mattress <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and getting this a softer just, one this is yeah yeah this one is a good one to the, the toppers are a good way to kind of break in your new firm mattress if that makes sense so, yeah. yeah 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 it's good so yeah if you've just joined us let us know um yeah if you've ever used a topper Top before yep that'd be great get an entry into and the get an entry into the draw yeah yep. all right We've just got Leanne popped in, uh, so congratulations, Leanne. She said that, no, I haven't used them before. My mattress is getting a bit old. Do you think this would make a difference? Yeah, it probably, it, it can do, particularly if you're not sleeping well or if you, well, we don't like saying this too much, but sometimes if you've got some aches and pains, yeah. a mattress can sometimes, a, a topper can sometimes just give you a bit more support. It can just help a little bit. This is our experience, like we've experienced this. It's 
it's not medical advice. There's nothing. That's just yeah, yeah. that's just <laughs> not what we're saying. It's not a. It's this is not a medical device. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not that. It's but we have found our experience, personal experience, is that if you're having a bit of an ache and you put a topper on it, just give you a bit of a support, and it can it can just help a bit. Um, but that may yeah. not work for everybody. So yeah, and it's one of those things where um, like you guys have had have spoken about how you guys have had a topper in the past and sometimes you put it on sometimes you don't just depending on how you feel um, yeah and mary's even she's gone from not having a topper and having a older mattress and then to having a topper and you said that you quite enjoyed it didn't you yeah it's i don't know comfier like the cushion <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that's that's probably a good way to say it as well like it's an extra layer of cushioning like underneath you so yeah if people that's often say of it's like sleeping on a cloud yeah 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 so, so, yeah. Yeah. so just hello tracy hello bridget um hello leanne um congratulations on your entry a second leanne um she mentioned that n she doesn't have a mattress topper but her caravan mattress needs one okay so that would be interesting because i don't know if what size what the caravan size that is yeah. <laughs> yeah and they're probably smaller wall depth as well yeah so it, yeah. it would be interesting to to yeah yeah it would be a good solution for a th thin mattress that's not yeah. so comfortable, maybe like that. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be great, but yeah. solution. But the sizing might be a challenge. Yeah, and we yeah. just had Jen McDonald and Jody start talking about how mattresses are so expensive at the moment. Mm -hmm. Jody's been looking around, and Jen yeah. McDonald said, "Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. She just got one recently, and the cheapest was around one thousand dollars." Wow. Which, you know. Yeah. At yeah, the moment, so so thousand dollars is not much. <laughs> like it's a lot of money for a lot of people. So it's um yeah. Well, compared to these, yeah, that's right. This isn't a mattress, so it's not going to it's not going to do a mattress job. But no. it just might um Help give you out. might give you what you need, especially if you had an old mattress. It might just put give you some support. Yeah, it just might work. Yeah. So to everyone that just joined us. Um, Again, sorry to everyone who's just been watching along and has heard us say this like for the sixth time now. Yeah. Everyone that's joined us to enter in to win one of these toppers, just comment below whether or not you've ever had one before. Yep. Um, it'd be good to know, you know, if everyone's kind of used to them, wants to try it, that kind of stuff. It'd yep. be good fun. Um, so is that Leanne with the caravan size, the queen size? Yeah, it looks like she's come back and said that she's got a queen size caravan, which is a pretty nice caravan, I think. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Y yeah. So yeah, so our queen topper would fit. It it depends on how thick the mattress is. It it might be a like because the skirt it's a it's a polyurethane or it's a I'm not, I'm not sure if that's the correct word, but it's um, it stretches. So it just may be I actually, if it's a really thin mattress, you might find that it's you, there's a bit of tucking involved, but the the top section will fit and be the right size. So yeah. Um, I did actually have a look at this. Someone on the live chat today asked me uh, what the construction of the walls of the skirt was for our mattress protectors range. Um, uh, that would be the same stuff. It's and it's a cotton, supposedly it's a cotton knit. That's the stretchy fabric. Yes. And you've reminded me now. Yeah. Yes. It's... It's like jersey or like a t-shirt where it's a bit stretchy. Yeah, it's, yeah. So it's not woven. It's it's a knit. So it gives you a bit of a flex yeah. uh, and stretch. That's what creates the stretch. So, yeah. Um, and Leanne, she's just come back and said, if it has an elastic skirt with good elastic, then it might tuck under. And yeah, Leanne, I'd reckon that it would be perfectly it, fine for you. It'd probably you. be fine, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Congratulations to Bridget. I've got your entry. She mentioned that, no, she hasn't ever had a topper before. So that'd be cool to try out. Yep. Um, Haley, hello, Haley. I don't know if I've seen you around these parts yet, but hello, welcome to the live. Um, she said, yes, we are using one, not the greatest though. So, you know, maybe we can, <laughs> if you win, <laughs> give us a review of this one and yeah. let us know. <laughs> yeah, why, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Tr Tracy's, Tracy's saying that she's like liking her topper too. Yeah, cool. Yeah, um, I'll add you in as well, Tracy. Yeah. Yes, I've got a secondhand king size mattress and it was so hard. I bought one, had it so my, what was that? Had it so my nicer and softer. So it's nicer and softer. Yeah. 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 So I'll add you in, Tracy. Let's get your name down That's there. That's cool. Cool. All I right. I think I've oh. got everyone. Let's get on to the next 
new arrival. Yep. Next crook coming. Yeah, this yep. is um, all ready. All right. So this is called the Lagos Olive, um, and it's a it's a nice green, it's olivey, greeny color, and it's a jacquard, polyester jacquard material, and it's it's jacquard. It's got a, sort of a little bit of a weaving going on, a uh, bit bit of texture. And um, it's white leaves, like these are banana uh, fronds, actually banana leaves, like banana leaves. It's it's on an olive base with um, it's got a flange at the top, and it's just a plain white um, cotton polyester on the back. So all the stories on the front, and uh, yeah, it's a nice um, <coughs> nice jacquard. It's the um, euros on this one. I'll show you those as well because they're a little bit they're a bit different. Where the quilt cover reverses to just white, um, the euros have the white palm fronds or, or banana um, leaves on one side, which is the same as the quilt cover. Then the reverse is the reverse, so yeah. it's white on the gr with green um, banana leaves. So um, that that's only happening on the euros though. So this this one comes in queen, king, and super king, and it. Um, but obviously also has the euros yeah as, would you as say, accessories would you say that the design is a little bit textured like it's not it's a, a bit quilted. yeah is it a print it's, or it, is it a uh, it, no it's a woven it's jacquard so it's a yeah, yeah. slightly stitched uh, it's you could say it's slightly quilted yeah uh, it feels like it's quilted like there's a little little texture it's not printed like the, the, the laka, like the last, last one was just, um, was definitely printed, but this has got a little bit of a texture to it. Yeah, cool. Um, Charlie uh, mentioned that she doesn't have a topper, so congratulations, Charlie, you're in the draw. Um, Joanne says that she loves this cool cover. Jen said that this is interesting, which probably means that she's not the biggest fan of it. Jen, let us know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a nice way to say that it's not your taste. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, Jen. Uh, Tracy <laughs> said that's beautiful. Odette said hello, everyone. So hello, Odette. Um, Jody said this is gorgeous. Haley said that she loves it, and Leanne said that those euros are a nice pairing. So yes, they are. Good. Yeah, yep. And Odette, she mentioned that she's got a protector, but not a topper, which would be an interesting thing actually for you just to talk about for a little second. What's the difference between? A protector and a topper. Maybe hop into the camera frame a little bit more and, and let everyone know. Well, a pr they basically that operate the same. They fit the same. They have a fitted the fitted skirt the same, but a protector would be uh, is is a bit th is obviously really thin. It, yep. They often are quilted. Some are some are waterproof, and some of the old terry with terry toweling with like a plastic. That's probably old school. They're a bit, bit, bit better nowadays. Yeah. Uh, um, the like the waterproof ones, but then the the non-waterproof are slightly quilted, but they're not quilted as much like as like the toppers are. The toppers have got the five centimeter depth, whereas protectors don't. Yeah. The the prote the topper with the five centimeter, it can operate like a protector. Obviously, it will. It'll protect. Just like a quilted mattress protector protects the mattress, a topper, which is thicker, it will protect the mattress as well because it's, it's even yeah. more wadding in there to, to stop damage coming through. So it's, um, you can use the, protect, the topper as a protector as well. Um, but it's, it's, yeah, it's harder to wash. Michelle just said it's harder to wash. It'll fill your machine up. You've probably got to have a pretty big washing machine, <laughs> if you, especially if you've got a very big bed. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it, take a bit longer to dry and things like that so but it was it wouldn't be a waterproof one of course but it'll be like the normal quilted yeah protector it so can cool. operate the same way yeah yeah if anyone's got any questions about that then there you go yep. There's an answer. fire away i meant to ask that at the beginning if you've got questions fire away ask them ask throughout the show at any time you can just email us or whatever we yeah, cool. gladly we, help so we did have leanne just ask a question saying does the topper make the bed hot I don't, th I don't think so. So, it's my, it's from a, my research. If unless you had something to say, from my research is, um, if you're a hot sleeper, you kind of want to avoid as many uh, polyester or 
plastic kind of yeah not, it's not plastic but polyester or non man oh sorry non natural fibers yeah. uh from touching your skin or just being on your bedding in general um so that's why we would recommend you know cotton sheets cotton quilt covers light breathable quilts themselves um even opting even just for a cotton blanket in summer sometimes yep um <clears throat> so toppers can can make your bed hot just because they are filled with uh the microfiber po- the polyester yeah yeah which is a is a non which is a man-made fiber however the, the our mattress topper in particular has a cotton cover so it's got that breathability but there's just that little bit of there's the polyester in there that can do yeah. it and it also depends on what your mattress anyway is made of i know latex can be very hot um big heavy latex mattresses or yeah. pillows they can be warm but that's yeah. we're now talking about mattresses but this yeah it could be it, yeah. it could especially if you're very sensitive to heat it you might you might pick it up you might yeah. recognize it the thing the other thing to understand is that most mattresses are made out of either like a memory foam or out of some sort of man-made fiber anyway y- y- yeah so yeah. i don't know if the toppers are going to make super difference yep. in terms of your heat regulation i think it's more everything else like the the fitted sheet that you're putting over the topper the shit the stuff that's on top of yep. you the, the, the sheets on top of you that kind even of even down to the the clothes you wear in bed as well because if they are polyester they can hold the heat as well if you yep. if you've got we i thought josh was going there but we've actually got a topper out there that's um we might have to feature it in the show one day we've yeah. got a, we've got a topper out there that's actually a cooling topper it's it and it, there's a pillow as well it's it's actually t- cold to touch when you touch it yeah. so when you ju- first jump into bed it's cool and it, when you roll over it it's cool like this it's coolness in there now it's not connected to any power source or anything so the coolness it can they can um, warm up but there is definitely a, a bite like when you touch touch it there's a coolness yeah. on it um, yeah. so you can you, because your body's warm and it warms up it can warm them up but then when you get out and, and or, or move it it it's it it cools down really quick and it's cool yeah um, they, they work quite well but then it it's not like a fridge where it's plugged into the power and it's const- or an air conditioner where it's constantly just cool. It's not like that, but yeah, they're, they're cooling to a, to a degree because of the, the initial jump in, the initial touch is cool. Yeah, yep. Um, real quick, we had Kerry say that she, she's currently got a topper and then she's got a protector going over the topper. Yeah. Um, which is an interesting way to do things. I don't know if there's anything wrong with doing it that way. Um, no, does... Yeah, you might you might um, squash the topper down a bit right. with that. Um, if it's comfortable, if it feels good, well, yeah, if it works. It's fine. I I don't see there's anything really wrong with it. Yep. But and then the next question we had was from Haley. She said, "Sorry if I miss this at the start, but what's the thickness of the toppers?" Five what's centimeters. The, yeah. So that's um, in the bedding world they call it loft. How yes. lofty is it? Yeah. Um, and it gets, the our uh, toppers in particular get that loftiness from the quilted walled construction yep. inside of it. So yep. it yeah, keeps everything lofty, yep. nice and nice and supportive. Yep. So all if right. you've got any questions, keep firing away. Are we all? I think, I think we're good for questions now. Are we all good? Yeah, maybe just remind everyone how to enter real quick because I've seen a bunch of people just join. Yeah, tight, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, it's been a while since we said that. <laughs> we, we are giving a, we're talking about toppers, but we are giving one away tonight. So that's probably yeah. why it's on the on the uh, question list and on the uh, minds of everybody. We're giving a topper away. Um, how to enter is to just mention in the comments whether you've used a topper before or whether you've got one, whether you've used one, just yes or no, or yes, I've got one, it's fantastic or whatever. Yep. Do that and that'll get you an entry in the drawer and you'll get to win a, you'll get to go in the drawer, at the, hang around to the end of the show and you'll get to... Um, mm. Hopefully the winner. Yep. Um, right. There's a choice of sizes. We've got all the sizes, so um, yeah, no problems there. Yeah. So, all right. Let's so get on to this core cover. The next, um, the, this one here, you need to let us know whether you. What, I, I'm a bit worried about this 
style. So let us know <laughs> what you think. We've got earthy tones coming in on this one. Um, so just let us know. Now, this this um, is a square cushion. This is that linen um, range that we uh, we featured the cushion, the silver one on the, on the other bed. Feather filled, nice frills around the edge. And this is the hazel color in that um, linen range. So linen cover, feather fill. And we're and this is another another one in that family, just a different colour. And this one is the tea rose, the tea rose colour. Um, I like this colour actually; it's nice. Um, and put them in. Mary, Mary's nodding her head in the back here. <laughs> she also likes I it. I love the tea rose. Yeah, <laughs> it's often the throw that you bring on, and every time I'm like, yes, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this is another one in that. Um, <laughs> teddy bear cushion <laughs> if you like this is it's the clean k-l-e-i-n moss is this color so nice cool. teddy bear feel <laughs> we had uh hayley just comment and say she's a cleaner and she sees lots of clients currently with linen and earth colors in their homes so you might have okay so yeah you might have gotten a winner we, here we got it right yeah it's it's got to look good on the cover though <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Um, but yeah, okay. So linen and earth is the bit of the trend, or f <coughs> the favourites anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this one's that's it. We're not putting a throw on this one. So just a couple of earthy tones in there. Well, let us know what you think. Did we ruin it with the T rose? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> We had, um, let's go through what everyone had to say. Odette said that she loves the linen cushion and loves the colours. Uh, Jen said, nice contrast to the green. Odette said that she loves these colours. Joanne says, loves the colour of the cushion. Charlie says yeah. that she likes it all together. And Hayley uh, mentioned that she, uh, she's a cleaner. She mentioned that the browns and stuff are also in their lounge rooms on the couches and whatnot as well. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. It's so, so everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I think... You don't spend much time looking at uh, Instagram and going through all the <laughs> nice pretty houses at the moment, but from what I can see from what um, is is popular right now, a lot of the beigey earth tones, the whites, the neutrals, they're that in, kind of stuff yeah, is, yeah. Yeah, is very in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Leanne said this one looks good, and Tracy gives it a good thumbs up. So yeah. Okay. Everybody likes That's it. Good. That's cool. Yep. We <laughs> 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 all right, we'll do the... Um, last colour on this one is is it's back to uh, we're just going to put a bit of white mostly on this now. Um, so we've got the Ascot white square that we yep. had before, and um, a new one. Then Michelle's trying to hit me with this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a round cushion, and it's called the Florida Fern, and it's got tassels all the way around. And it's sort of a, a knitted, woven colour. Nice green. This might be one of the first times that we've ever put a round cushion on a bed. It Is that right? Might be, yeah. Maybe. If we don't do it very often, if we yeah. if we do. Let us know. This is this is going to be an interesting question for just for my sake. So entertain me if you will. What's your favourite shape cushion? Is it square? Is it round? Is it rectangle? Is it brunch i think there's brunch cushions where they're a little bit shorter rectangles yep um i don't know if there's any other shape of cushions yeah what do you yeah yeah star cushions <laughs> triangle cushions <laughs> <laughs> yeah joanne says that her favorite is rectangle uh, yeah bridget says that this style is looking nice so far yep we um, we've got the um we'll finish this off we've got the yep. oslo snow throw we nearly, this nearly goes on a bed every week, this row. It, it does. I keep on putting it in the links. Yep. It's every week. <laughs> every week. Uh, Jen said that she likes a darker square. Haley said that she... That's a darker square. Jen said that she likes a darker green. Haley said that she likes larger square cushions. Um, Odette said that she has all three shapes on her bed. Which Okay. Yeah, yep. You get gold stars across just, the board. Just like this one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Bridget said rectangle or square. So it's yeah. looking like the more symmetrical. Is that the right word? Symmetrical? I don't know. The more sharp edges wins. The rounded ones aren't the... the aren't that common. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're not common um, 
in the range either. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I often find that the, I know somebody said um, they like the big, bigger square cushions. Yeah. I often find when I'm putting them on the bed, it's a bit, it feels a bit big in comparison to the standards. But yep. that's just, that's just my preference. Bigger ones are probably better if you're using them on the lounge, doing those sort of things. Um, they're handy, but um, yeah. It's, it was interesting to hear that somebody liked big, larger, larger cushions. <coughs> yeah, right. we um, we had a couple of comments. Sorry to cut you off again. This is the last style, right? This is the last one. Yeah. Yeah. So let us know if you like this. Uh, we did have, who was it? Tracy. Tracy mentioned maybe putting on a th green throw on this one. Um, and I believe you tried that we, earlier this week. We we were trying that. Um, yeah. I can, I can just get because this is that. Oops. This is that Johnson olive. It's in that same, it's the same um, f same throw, but just different color as that other one, uh, the, the blue one that we had on the other bed. Yeah. So that, that can, that's not bad, actually. That's actually. Yeah, that's not that bad. Let us know if you it's like that one. It's not a disaster. Uh, Kerry but said that she doesn't like to use cushions as they would, one, live on her floor, and two, the sausage dogs would use them as toys. <laughs> <laughs> Which, yeah, I think that's a lot of people find but that cushions are just... It's just up. not practical sometimes, yeah. 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 Um, Hayley said that she uses the round cushion on her daughter's bed. She's 11, so mm -hmm. that's cool. Yeah. It is It is a bit more of like a playful cushion yeah, yeah, if you yeah. wanted to really get into the nitty-gritty nitty nitty of styling and <laughs> yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, Tracy said just a standard pillow for her. Joanne said that she really likes the round cushion. It's something different. Um, we had Leanne say she has all shapes on her bed and she likes this specific style, which is good. Jody says she likes this style. Uh, Jen said that she's never actually really thought about what shape of cushion she might like. Mm -hmm. Um, so she's open to all of them, which is cool. Yeah. And Haley says that she likes the texture of this round cushion. Yeah. Um, which, yeah, I can't, did you mention what material that's made out of? Um, I didn't mention it. No, it, it'll be in the listing. It's probably, possibly on the tag. Yeah. It actually says cotton. There you go. So nice. It's a nice cotton cushion. I, I think the fill would be polyester though. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. not feather, so um, the fill would be polyester. But the the cover itself is cotton. Cool. So and it looks like everyone's loving this style right now on yeah. this side. So yeah, I saw somebody said that they like the green one better too. The yeah, green throw. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's it's a little bit different color. You can see it in the picture, you can, in on the screen. You can see it, but it it's pretty much the same color as the cushion. So yeah, it, it works. It, it does work. That's it's not cool. bad. Well, Dad says uh, that that's really nice. Green is her favorite color. So okay, well, that's cool. Winner there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the what color? I don't know. If, I can't remember if you mentioned this, but you, as you can see on the camera, guys, there's that olive throw is like a darker green which the quilt cover itself is not a it's a different green isn't it it's more of like a bluey green would you say yeah probably there's yeah there's probably more um there's probably a bit, a bit of blue in there yes yeah so yeah. just in case you're wondering what it looks like in real life um and it looks it looks pretty accurate when i'm looking at the cameras to the bed yeah now so. yeah yeah, and this the throw and the cushion's a bit more. I, th I think I think you'd call it heritage green. Is that is that the thing? Yeah, okay. it used to be all the rage is it, heritage. Is bottle green, green the right term? Or bottle? Yeah, maybe bottle green. Yeah. Although um, it's a light bottle green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're just chatting yeah. about colours now. <laughs> <laughs> let's, right. um, let's have a look at this giveaway. I think. Yep. All right. So if you've just joined us. Uh, uh, and like we're like we're really nearly at the end. Um, if you want to go in the draw to win um, a topper, get into the comments really really quick and um, let us know if you've used a topper before, and we'll put you in the draw and you can get a chance to win. There's yep. a choice of sizes, so uh, but be really quick because Josh is just about to spin the wheel. Yep, yep. And we'll we'll find out who the winner is. Yep. So do we, will we wait a few minutes or? We can wait. wait, wait I'll give it 30 seconds. I'll All start right. a timer. All right. I'll just remind everybody about our free postage. Don't yep. forget, we've got free shipping and we have and we ship really, really quick. So if you um, 
if you um, yeah place an order with us, we'll ship it out really fast. It gets to your door really quick, and um, you don't have to worry about the car parks and yeah. the shopping centres and all yeah, the stress. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know I avoid them. And, um, <laughs> So yeah, so we've got and we've got the free shipping as well, so it doesn't cost you anything. Except, yeah. So, so right. we've got two uh, final entries in the last minute. We had Denise, oh, wow. uh, who said that she's never had a topper. Um, okay. So it'd be cool for you to Let's try cool. one, Denise. Yeah. And let us know how you go. Maybe if you win. Yeah. Maybe it's yours tonight. <laughs> yep. Um, and then we had yep. Pam say that she'd love to try as well. So there's two people that I've never had the chance to Top really have a yeah. look at one so yep. be good if you guys and win yep and i think we should just draw it yep. so i reckon if have you got everybody in there now i think so yep yep all right let's oh i accidentally spun it without showing it hold on everyone <laughs> oh no <laughs> no it's okay it's okay <laughs> all right let me just all right okay Technical difficulties, everyone. All right, cool. Let's pull it up oh, on the screen. <laughs> and we'll spin it now. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I got fat fingers, clicked everything too quickly. And it looks like... It's Bridget. It's Bridget. So Con congratulations, congratulations, Bridget. Congratulations, Bridget. That's uh, let, us, let us know you're there. And um, we'll need to get your address and what size you want as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So just jump in the comments and let us know that you're watching. Um, and while you're doing that, I'll just remind everybody th um, about our range. We've got this massive range, and um, if you like, if you're shopping around, looking around on the website, and you're having difficulty finding stuff, or uh, you need a hand, uh, don't be scared. Don't hold back. Ask us questions. Give us a phone call, or a live chat, or a um, or a, a, an email. Or Contact us somehow and we'll help you out. We'll answer your questions. And or if you want to f see something featured in the show, uh, let us let us know because we're, we're doing this every week. So let us know and we'll, we'll highlight something in the show if you really want to have a deep dive into something. So let us know that as well. Uh, we are crawling through the new arrivals though. So um, you'll see in the new arrivals there's a whole bunch of new stuff. So we're just slowly week by week going through those. So um, we will get to those eventually. Um, but um, yeah, if you've got something that you want us to particularly look at, we could fast track a new arrival if you like, if you're keen on something. But um, yeah, let us know. Yeah. All right. Um, so we do have Bridget here. She said, oh, wow, thank you. And everyone else is saying congratulations. So yeah, congratulations, Bridget. Yeah. It's, that's really fantastic. So just let us know where you want us to send it and what sort Yeah, of send us either a Facebook message or send us an email or you can even send us a live chat. We won't yeah. be live, but it'll send an email through to us. Yep. Um, and... Yeah. yeah, and if anyone was interested in grabbing one of these toppers for themselves, um, we've currently got them up on the website now. All sizes are available, and there's a link in the description if you'd like to go and have a yeah, look at uh, that. Yeah, along with all the stuff for tonight, all the accessories and quilt covers for tonight yeah. in the same spot. Yep. In, yeah. All right. So, cool. All yeah. right. So, that's it. I think um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, it's great to have you with us. It's really fantastic to have you getting amongst all of this and um, commenting and having some fun and um, winning some prizes. It's really great. Yeah. Really great to, to do that. And um, yeah, we're going to do this all again next week. We're going, we'll do two more new arrivals and we'll style them up a couple of ways and um, we'll see, we'll have some other surprise in there as well, I'm sure. So we'll, um, we'll do that next week at the same time, eight o'clock Sydney time. And um, yeah, we'll see you next week. So have a great, safe week. And uh, enjoy the weekend. It's supposed to be a bit warmer. Uh, cool. Probably a bit too warm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on where you are. Yeah. But um, anyway, have a great safe week and we'll see you next week. Cool. See you guys. Bye.